Peace and greetings to you. This is Dr. O, the PA Pro, otherwise known as Omar Abdul Malik. Uh, I just wanted to uh, share some information with you all tonight. Uh, well, actually, it's not tonight. It's, it's now morning. It's 12 a.m. Uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, as usual, I got off from another long shift. Uh, I had to reapply for my license this year, so every two years, physician assistants have got to apply, reapply for license renewal. And uh, it includes getting something called continuing medical education credits. So we need 50 category one uh, CMEs and 50 category two CMEs. So those category one CMEs have got to be activities that are approved by organizations like the American Medical Association, the American Academy of Physician Assistants, and, and um, a couple of others. So the National Commission on uh, the Certification of Physician Assistants. And then we log those, and then um, we have to save the certificates because we can get, uh, we can get audited. They can, they can ask to, um, to see proof that we did in fact garner our, at least garner our 50 credits of Category 1 CMEs. But uh, I had to pay a $130 fee um, for the uh, certification, recertification, and then a, a $130 fee for, for the uh, relicensure. And I mentioned um, getting my license renewal in another video. You have to get, go through something called the, uh, a lot of scrutiny. So the Clean Hands Act, um, you're asked uh, if you've ever been found guilty of any uh, misconduct as a professional. Uh, they even go into, do you owe any parking tickets? Or do you owe any money to the uh, Washington um, uh, Sewer and uh, Water Association? Which I find kind of strange, but, but uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of scrutiny that we've got to go through just to get your medical license renewed. And uh, I, I think you've got to do that for almost any profession in which you're providing some type of service, at least in D.C. I know, I think even barbers have got to get their uh, license renewal. So anyway, mine finally came in the mail. So here it is. This is, uh, says, um, uh, Government of the District of Columbia, Department of Health, Health Regulation and License administ Licensing Administration, Board of Medicine, certifies that Omar I. Abdul Malik has met all the requirements prescribed by law and regulations and is hereby licensed as a physician assistant. Let's step back so you guys can see me. So it has my license number, PA3021, and it's, it's issued, issue date is 01, so January 1st, 2017, and it expires. December 31st, 2018. And you see it there. Um, and it was signed by uh, LaQuandra Nesbitt, MD, PhD. She's the director of the uh, Department of Health. And then uh, Janice Orlowski. Um, now, the thing is, is that this license, while it's in my possession, yeah, you know, it, it doesn't really belong to me. It, it belongs to the Department of Health. It can be revoked. It can be suspended. It's just like your driver's license. So it's it's a precious thing. I'm proud to to um, have have got, uh, renewed my license. Um, I'm, I'm thankful. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. But um, I'm, I also understand that it can be taken away from me at, at any time. And I say that to you guys as as a caveat because you know a lot of you all really want to be physician assistants or nurse practitioners or or doctors are going to other aspects of the um, the health care um, and you're going to be licensed in all of those things and certified that can be taken away from you very quickly all those years of hard work you know tens of thousands and in case, some cases hundreds of thousands of dollars in, in education can be destroyed in an instant um, should you uh, d do anything that uh, that um, is either unprofessional 
you know, either intentionally or, or um, intentionally. Yeah, so you have to watch what you do. You know, it's, 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 very, it's been very interesting uh, just in this past year and a half since I started my channel, uh, being, contact, being contacted by a lot of you all that have told me how badly you want to become physician assistants. And it, it really, it's humbling to me uh, just to be in this field and, and, and be a PA. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a bit awe-inspiring listening to you all's anecdotes about your lives. You know, a lot of, some of you all are single mothers. Some of you all are served in the, in the armed forces. Some of you all left your countries and immigrated to this country uh, to, to start your life anew. Uh, some of you are coming out of high school. O others of you all are starting second or third careers, trying to do so as a as a physician assistant. Uh, but it's it, you know you, you got to keep striving. Um, if if um, becoming a PA um, isn't in your proverbial cards, there, there's so many there's so many amazing other careers that you can pursue um, within the uh, allied health field. Um, just check out some of my videos for that. But, uh, you know, it's, I just wanted to share this with um, those of you all that, uh, that have been following me. I think I have 1,200 subscribers at this point. Um, thank you for your support. Uh, please tell your friends and, and family about me. If you have any interest in uh, pursuing a career in the allied health field or education field or talking about fitness issues, I also cover some, some politics, although I'm somewhat reticent about that. But uh, it's, it's a brand new year, a year to um, try to strive toward your goals, yeah, 2017. So I wish you all the very best, um, I, and I look forward to um, talking with some of you all. I leave my contact information, um, cell phone and text, and even my, um, my email in the, uh, in the description section. So if you have any questions that you don't want to put in the comment section, you're, you're certainly free to contact me. But I wish you all peace. God bless you. Take care.